and welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to learn and understand about the Ohm's Law. Before we going to Ohm's Law, let us first understand the activity 12.1 in which this is a circuit which has a resistor. So about resistors we are going to learn in next topic. So here this is a resistor and this is our voltmeter which will measure the potential difference across this point. This is our emitter which will measure the flow of current through the circuit. Now in first connection we are going to use only one cell. This represents one cell which has one small line and one big line. So this consists of negative terminal, positive terminal and this entire unit is a one cell. If we are connecting something like this then I would say that I have connected two cell in a circuit. So one by one first we are going to attach one cell and we will measure the potential difference that is V and current. So how much current is flowing through this circuit that we will measure and what the potential difference we can measure in voltmeter that we will note down. So we are taking a graph like this where potential difference volt we are taking on y axis and current that is i we are taking on x axis and we are and we are plotting a graph whatever values we are getting from this circuit in first connection we are going to use one cell in second we are going to use two cell in third we are going to use three cell and in fourth we are going to use four cell and series of points whatever we will get that we are plotting over here that is V by I graph. This graph is V by I because we have taken here volt and current. Once we will plot all the points and we will get a straight line that origins from the zero. So it tells us that V by I graph is constant. It will give us constant value when we are taking V by I graph because whatever line we are getting from the reading of this circuit that line will connect all the point in a straight line and that line will origin from the zero. So we will get here V by I equals to constant. That also means that V is directly proportional to I. Now what is the meaning of V is directly proportional to I that means potential difference is directly proportional to current. If we will increase the potential difference the current will increase. If we will decrease the potential difference current will decrease. That also means that if we are using one cell then current will be less. If we are using two cell then current will increase. And simultaneously current will increase when we are using 3 cell and 4 cell. So as the potential difference will increase, current will also increase within the circuit. Because what potential difference will do? Because of the potential difference, much pressure will be generated so that the electrons will move throughout the circuit. Once the electron will flow throughout the circuit, it will generate the current in opposite direction. So that's why V is directly proportional to I. That means potential difference is directly proportional to the current. So as we got here V proportional to I that also means V by I equals to constant. Now V by I equals to R that we are taking as a constant and R is a resistance. Now R is constant and it is a resistance at given temperature. Now what is a resistance? It is a property of conductor to resist the flow of charge through it. Whenever through the conductor electrons are moving in one particular direction and charge or the current is flowing in opposite direction to then that of the electrons. So this conductor will resist this flow of current. And this property of the conductor is known as resistance. Resistance means to resist or to create a hindrance so that the charge, a complete charge or complete current will not pass through the conductor. That property will vary as the metal will vary. It is with respect to the metal. It is with respect to the conductor as the aluminium, iron, copper. 
all the three are the conductor of the electricity. They are good conductors, but the resistance will vary. And as the resistance will vary, they will become good and comparatively less better conductor for the electricity. So resistance, it is a property of conductor to resist the flow of charge through it. And it is also depending upon the temperature. In coming topics when we are going to discuss the resistance at that time we will see the temperature effect on resistance. So our new formula and third formula is V equals to IR where V is potential difference which we are measuring in volt. I is a current which we are measuring in ampere. R is a resistance and resistance we are measuring in ohm. So now let us understand the Ohm's law. So this statement is known as Ohm's law. So this law you can also write from this formula that V equals to IR. So it says that the potential difference across two ends of a conductor is 1 volt and the current through it is 1 ampere. Then the resistance R of the conductor is 1 ohm. So when potential difference is 1 volt, Current passing from the conductor is 1 ampere. At that time, the resistance of that conductor will be 1 ohm. And this will define the Ohm's law. It also gives us 1 ohm equals to 1 volt divided by ampere. We have this formula that V equals to IR. We can also represent this as I equals to V by R. And with respect to R, we can make V by I. So this formula we can represent with respect to V, I and R. So this formula that 1 ohms equals to 1 volt divided by 1 ampere is equals to R equals to V by I. Now what will be the units for all the three? R we are measuring in ohm. Potential difference we are measuring in volt. We are denoting potential difference in V and measuring in volt. So, in short, we are writing in V and I, we are measuring in ampere. So, we are going to write AMP. So, these are the units and these are three different formulas by which we can find out volt, current and resistance when we have other two things with us. So hope this video has solved your doubt. In coming videos, we are going to cover some important concepts. So don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing.